Hi everybody, it's Diego from Codex and welcome to the ninth lesson of this Arduino course. Today we're going to make an electronic dice roller by using six LEDs and one push button. So if you are ready, let's get started. We're going to need six LEDs and I recommend placing them this way. Now, obviously, six resistors. Remember, the cathode of the LED has to go to the ground pin and the anode has to go to a digital pin. It's interesting to connect both negative rails and this way, if one of them goes to the ground pin, maybe the one at the bottom both of them are connected to the ground pin and now as we said it's LED to one digital pin this is the first LED so digital pin 1 As you see, we have six simple LED circuits or six LEDs connected in parallel. And now we need the push button with a pull down resistor. So push button here. Connected to digital pin 7. Now we need another resistor. That goes to the ground pin and one cable on the other side from terminals 2B and 2A to the 5 volts. Remember in a push button these terminals 1B and 1A are connected to each other, 2B and 2A are connected to each other but both sides are only connected to each other when the button is pressed. When it is unpressed, digital pin 7 cannot receive any electricity from the 5 volts, so the signal is going to be low. However, when it is pressed, the 5 volts can send electricity to the digital pin 7 and the signal is going to be high. So now let's make this on the physical board. As you see, we're going to need the USB cable, the Arduino board, breadboard, six LEDs. No matter what color you choose them, I don't have six LEDs of the same color, so I've chosen three blue LEDs and three green LEDs. Seven 220 ohm resistors, one push button, and some jumper wires. So let's begin. I'm going to put the anode on the right side. Now the resistors will go directly from the cathode to the negative rail. Now as we've done before, let's connect both negative rails. Let's take them to the ground pin. As my digital pin number one doesn't work correctly, I'm going to, to use number seven instead. So the push button will go to number eight. So let's begin from the anode to digital pin number seven. All right, and now the push button with the pull down resistor. And 
and this one has to go to the positive rail and from the positive rail to the 5 volts. So the circuit is assembled and now let's open in block 5 to code it. So first of all let's add Arduino now. Let's connect it. And let's work on live mode. So when green flag clicked, the first thing we're going to do is check if we press the push button. As we want to check that forever, we need this loop and only if we read digital pin 8, number 8, because in my case the push button is connected to digital pin 8, first of all we're going to turn off all the LEDs. So, number 7, which is my number 1, set as low, and the same with the others. After that, we're going to wait for one second. This is just to establish a small delay before picking the random number. And now we're going to pick a random number. That random number must be memorized so that we can use it in the future. So we need a variable. We're going to make a variable called number. And we're going to set this variable called number to pick random from 1 to 6. And after we have memorized this number, we have to turn on the correct LEDs, the LEDs we need. So we're going to turn on the first LED, because as this number is going to go from 1 to 6, the first LED is always going to be on. So, number 7, which is number 1, you know. Now, when are we going to turn on LED number 2? Only when the random number is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, so greater than 1. So we need a condition. If this random number is more than one, we're going to set digital pin to output as high. And we have to do the same with the others. If the random number is greater than two, so three, four, five, four, six, we're going to turn on the third. So the only case where we are going to set digital pin 6 output as high is when the random number is more than 5, so it's 6. So now let's update it because that's what it requires. Let's connect it again. And now let's test it. Right, so number four, and we have these four LEDs on. Let's press again. Number six, and the six LEDs are on. Number five, and these five LEDs are on, and so on. To make it a bit more interesting, we're going to create a kind of animation before the LEDs turn on. In this animation, we're going to turn on, alternatively, all the LEDs twice. So the idea is, for example, if we begin with digital pin number 2, is turn it on, wait for, for example, 0 0.2 seconds, and then turn it off. And this is a sequence we have to repeat with all the LEDs. This is a very long code if we now duplicate and do the same with digital pin number 3 and so on. So there is a better way to do it. The only number we're going to change is this, 
Now it's DTTLP number two. After this one, it's gonna be number three, then four, then five, until number seven. So we're gonna create a variable called pin. And we're going to put it, for example, here. We're going to set, well, let's put it out so that you can understand it better. So at the beginning, we're going to set pin to number two. So we're going to turn on digital pin number two, so the second LED, then we're going to wait, and then we're going to turn it off. After that, we're going to change pin by one. So pin will be number three. And we're going to repeat this sequence six times. So we, be we begin with pin number two. We turn it on, wait, turn it off, and change the variable by one. So now it's number three. And we repeat this process with number three. We set digital pin number three output as high, wait, then turn it off, and we change pin by one, so now it's four. And we do this with number four. So that's the idea. And we're going to repeat the whole sequence twice. Let's put it here. And this time I'm going to upload the code to the board because that way it's gonna work better especially in my laptop, which is not very powerful. And as I'm recording my screen at the same time, it could create some problems. So let's see, I press here. This is the animation. It turns off all the LEDs and then it picks a random number, in this case, number two. All right. Let's try again. Again, number two, let's try again. Now number six, another try. Now it's number three. So this is the way it works. So that's all guys, I hope you like this electronic dice roller and see you next time. Bye bye.